fucking with y'all, man. I'm bullshitting. Let me turn on the music so you guys can hear me, all right? I probably should have did that shit first before I even started the fucking video, right? Anyway, what's good, people? This your boy Jarrell here, holding down for Jarrell Fitness. And y'all already know, it's time to grow, bro, like the shirt say. You know, I had the shirt for a little while now. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, this is my whole little model right here. Anyway, um, what's good with everybody? Um, happy New Year's, first and foremost. Um, it's the year 2013, so I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. Um, this is a new year. It's a new start for a lot of people, especially in the fitness community. Um, for anybody that's been like a devoted um, watcher of like the YouTube channels, whether it's my channel or anybody else's fitness channel, I know a lot of you guys, you know, you're looking to do new things in this year to get some more gains, whether that's to lose weight or whatever the case may be, okay? So anyway, I had a lot of shit that I really wanted to talk to you guys about, so I pretty much wrote it down. So I got my little ink pad right here, so I want to make sure that I get everything out. Um, I did a video similar to this one, um, the, be the, the beginning of 2012. The name of the video was called, um, What's Your um, New Year's Resolution or whatever the case may be. And I pretty much did a video like this, um, but this video is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a combination of that type of video with this type of video, what I'm gonna do here. So in this video, I'm gonna pretty much tell you guys a rundown for me um, for the year 2012 as far as what I went through and everything like that. For you guys that don't really know, um, a lot of you guys might be new subscribers or you might be people that have been subscribed, but you might have subscribed like in the middle of 2012 so you really didn't know the full story behind me. But anyway, to start things off, um, my name is Jarrell. You know, I'm a, um, a natural bodybuilder. Um, in um, Chicago, Illinois, I'm about 5'11". Um, I'll get to the rest of everything as I go down the list. Okay, anyway, um, as far as I went in 2012, I started bulking in, a, in like January of 2012. Um, I was 185 pounds, okay? I was pretty much like a normal size guy. I was kind of skinny fat, I guess that's what you would call it. I had kind of a high body fat percentage. Really didn't have too much muscle. So I decided that what I was gonna do was I was gonna go ahead and bulk up. So I started bulking and um, I didn't like what happened, but in the middle of March of 2012, I actually got hurt, okay? I was diagnosed with a hiatal hernia. For you guys that don't know what a hiatal hernia is, that's basically, this is something that I caused. Some people are born with it, but this is something that I caused. When I was bulking, I was lifting too heavy in the gym and I was not breathing correctly. So it caused, me to have this little, you know, this little thing going on called a hiatal hernia. Y'all can go ahead and look it up on the internet, you know, whatever the case may be. Now, when I got hurt, I had to stop training. My doctor told me, you know, leave the weights alone. Then I have to wait, let this thing heal up. I didn't have to have surgery or anything for it. You know what I'm saying? But I had to change my diet a little bit. Um, it causes like acid reflux and different things like that. So you guys can go ahead and do research on it. Or you can go back and look at my previous videos around that time, which was like March. You can go ahead and look back and actually see what it was and I'll explain it to you or whatever the case may be. I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about that. But anyway, I was 195 pounds. So I was really caught up in a bad dilemma because I had gained all of this weight, which was like I gained like an extra 10 pounds on my body. I wasn't training anymore. I had gained a nice amount of muscle, but when I wasn't able to train, I was, out, you know, it's pretty much I was, that muscle, I don't know if you can say it was turning into fat, but like I said, I lost a lot of muscle because I wasn't using my muscles. So, like I said, um, I was out of the gym for about three months. I pretty much got fat, okay? I'm gonna show you guys a photo right now on the screen of how I looked at that weight, okay? And as you can see, I had a lot of body fat, okay? So anyway, um, like I said, down the line, I got back into the gym. It was the middle of June, 2012. And I pretty much told myself that I need to start cutting. I wanna go ahead and drop all of this excess fat that I have gained while I was out of the gym for those three months and I wanted to get lean, okay? So I can start all over again. So, like I said, I ended up cutting and I cut it all, I, 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 I lost weight and I cut all the way down to 169 pounds and um, that was late September. That was the end of my cutting phase. I got as lean as I could. I'm gonna go go ahead and show you guys a video, right, a, a picture of that right now. Okay, I cut down as much as I could, you know what I'm saying? And then I was pretty unpleased with my results. I was pleased, but I wasn't, it really wasn't what I was exactly looking for. Cause like I said, I lost a lot of muscle when I couldn't train for those three months, okay? When I got hurt. 
So anyway, I pretty much told myself I'm gonna go ahead and maintain. So I went ahead and maintained for a little while, and then um, I started doing a slow bulk in late October of 2012, which brings us to today. And my current weight today is 181 pounds. So I've picked up some weight since then. I'm doing a nice slow bulk, you know, cleaning dirty foods, and that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Um, my goal ultimately um, is to reach, at the end of my bulk, I wanna go ahead and reach 195 pounds once again. And I wanna get back a lot of that muscle that I lost the first time around, okay? So that's what I'm, that's currently my goal right now. It may change, I may go a little higher. It depends how I'm looking in the mirror, okay? So that's pretty much it as far as 2012 went, just to let you guys know what's going on. So anyway, as far as New Year's resolutions go, um, for me, um, for 2013, one of my main goals, my whole purpose is to do 2012 all over again. I wanna pretty much do the same thing that I did in 2012, but I wanna go into it with a more um, open mind. I wanna have, I have more knowledge. I've, I learned a lot of things in 2012 from trial and error. So definitely going to 2013, I wanna make sure that I come in and I use the knowledge that I have learned over that whole year. And I definitely think that it's gonna help me. I learned a lot of different things. I learned how to bulk up. Um, I learned how to cut down. I've never lost that much weight in my life. You know, I had to go ahead and I had to, you know, measure my food. I had to count my calories, count my macros. So it was a very good learning experience for me that I'm gonna go ahead and carry on into the year 2013. It's gonna help me, okay? So that's, that's very good right there for me. Um, second of all, one of my other goals is to, um, to grow my channel, you know, so I wanna grow Jarrell Fitness, I wanna expand Jarrell Fitness, and the whole purpose that I made this channel was just to inspire people like myself. You know, I was one of those guys that pretty much sat behind the computer, and like I said, I procrastinated for a long time. I was watching the Hodge Twins videos, I was watching them make all kinds of games, and I was watching Louis Marco saluting everybody every fucking day. I salute you, my friend. You know what I'm saying? And I was looking at a few other people's channels, but I really, I really wasn't taking it serious. I was just pretty much telling myself, well, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. Then one day I just had to tell myself, I have to make time. Okay, so like I said, that's pretty much what it was. Um, I just want to expand the channel. I want to expand T2G, T2G Nation for you, that, for, for you guys that don't know what that means. T2G means time to grow. And that's pretty much the nation. I want to just grow this nation so we all can just grow together and just learn and just build some muscle. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, as far as my recommendations for you guys for the year 2013, especially for you guys that are just starting out, like you newbies, the guys that are just thinking about working out but you're not too sure, you know what I'm saying? The first thing that I need to tell you guys is you need to stop making excuses and make time. And... Make time to go to the gym. That's what you need to do first and foremost. Don't be one of them guys that sit around and say, I don't have no time. You know, I'm so busy with school. I'm so busy with work. You know, going to the gym should be just as important as your, as going to school or going to work. It should be just as important. That's the way I had to look at it. I didn't look at it that way at first. I would always put working out on the back burner. But once I moved working out and training to the forefront with going to work and school, you know, I had everything balanced out. It's all about just balancing out your life. You know what I'm saying? That's all you have to really do. Don't let that hold you back. Um, second of all, you need to go ahead and get yourself a gym membership. Okay? Or you need to go ahead and buy yourself. If you have the extra money, you know, I know everybody ain't rich and no shit like that, but if you have some extra money, go ahead and get yourself like a weight bench, a weight set, and get started. Actually, I started training at home when I first started. I wasn't even going to the gym. I did not have a fucking gym, remember, gym membership. I worked out at home. I had a little equipment that I had sitting around for a nice amount of time that I didn't use and I had con collected dust. We had dust the dust off that shit and I got to work, okay? So I started at home and that actually will help you build up your confidence to go to the gym. Because a lot of guys are kind of embarrassed to go to the gym. You feel like if you go to the gym, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. Everybody's going to be looking at you like, what the fuck is this guy doing over here? You know, this guy weighs like 100 fucking pounds. He's in here trying to bench press. What is he doing? But like I said, it's not even like that. Don't even pay attention to other people, you know. But like I say, starting out at home will build your confidence because at home, you will start lifting a nice amount of weight. So that way, when you go into the gym and you're lifting weights around other people, you kind of have some confidence about yourself. You won't feel like people staring at you, which they're, they're, pro they're probably not even staring at you in the first place. Most people that go to the gym, they're focused on their own workout, and that's all they're thinking about, okay? 
Okay, all right, now the next thing that I suggest that you guys do is challenge yourself. That's the whole goal of weight training, is to challenge yourself. Whenever you're in a gym, especially when you first start out, if you feel like you can't do another rep, go ahead and squeeze out another two reps. You know what I'm saying? Challenge yourself. That's the whole name of the game, it's progressive overload. Try to beat your last workout. Every time you go into the gym, try to beat your last workout with the next workout, okay? Because you will be surprised what your body can do. If you have a mind-muscle connection, you'll be surprised what you can do, okay? I've moved a lot of weight in my lifetime that I didn't think that I could ever, ever move. But once I put my mind and my muscle together and had that connection, I was able to do it, okay? And um, it's different ways that you can challenge yourself. You can challenge yourself one-on-one, you know? You can challenge yourself or you can um, challenge yourself in a third person with other people involved. Now what I mean by other people involved, which brings me to my next point, is something that I did in 2012, well actually late 2011, that actually helped me gain a lot of muscle and actually made me take this natural bodybuilding shit serious, is I started my own YouTube channel. Okay, now starting your own YouTube channel gives you a chance to display what you're doing to the public. Now, everybody might not be okay with that, okay? Because some people, they can't take criticism. Um, a lot of people don't like critics. I hate fucking critics. But at the same time, I like people to give me some nice criticism that will help me and drive me to do better. And I, I remember when I first started this channel, a lot of, I had got a lot of bad comments and stuff like that. But over time, people became more open arms to me because they saw that I was actually in this shit to win it. You know what I'm saying? People respect that. So like I say, and then it also keeps you honest. You know, at a lot of times when I felt like just giving up working out, I got tired of doing it. I, I got tired of being consistent, but I knew that I had you guys watching me. So I had to make sure that I kept doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I like doing this. So that's that's one of a, one of my main recommendations. Not the main recommendation, but that's that's one recommendation that I will give you guys. And if you don't want to upload your videos or your footage on YouTube, just look at it yourself. You know, show your friends, show some people you know, you know, what you can do. You know, and then it's a good way when you record yourself to critique yourself. You can look at yourself, like I said, that's the one-on-one, you know, the one-on-one challenge. You know what I'm saying? So you can look at yourself and you can say, you know what? I can squat a little lower next time I can, you know, I can bench a little bit more weight, you know, I can have a better form. So it's different ways that you can help yourself by recording yourself. So that definitely helps out in the long run. Um, which brings me to a funny story also, because I remember when I actually started kind of slacking off after I had got hurt. Um, and like I said, you would be surprised who... What other people with YouTube channels will actually come and actually ask about what's going on with you? Because, um, like I said, I was I was out of the gym when I was hurt for about three months, and I remember I'll never forget Chris Jones from from um, Physiques of Greatness had hit me up with a with a with a private message, and he was like, "Hey, what's up, man?" He was like, "You still you quit doing videos or some shit like that?" So I said, "Damn!" I said, "Oh, okay, cool." So. He actually gave me that next step, that, that kind of push that I needed to actually get myself back into the whole process of recording videos again. So I thank him for that. And, um, and like I said, I, I thank all of the subscribers because a lot of you guys were checking in on me during that period of time in 2012 when I really needed that extra push that I needed, okay, to get back in the gym. Okay, last but not least, um, you need to go ahead and learn as much as you can, okay? In 2013, if you're new to working out, you're new to training, just try to go through the year learning as much as you can. Do the research. Um, look on YouTube. Look at different people's channels. Find out how to do different things. Because when it comes to body, natural bodybuilding, one of the key things that I always believe is nutrition is the key. You have to learn how to get your nutrition in order, okay? So you need to go ahead and sit down and learn how to count macros, learn how to count calories, learn how many calories are inside of one gram of carb and, you know, and protein, you know, find some of that stuff out too. Learn the science, okay? Because like this is also a science, you know, it's not just working out 
and just eating and shit like that. Although, a lot of us do do that because I'm doing that kind of right now a little bit because I'm not counting my calories or anything like that because I'm bulking. But I pretty much went through that process. So I can actually look at food now and tell how much protein and how many carbs. But if you don't know how to do it like that because if you haven't did any research, it'd be kind of hard for you. You know what I'm saying? So definitely do the research and go ahead and make sure you get your rest. Okay, so anyway, with all of that said, I'm sorry if the video is too long, but with all of that said, that's it. Um, I want to wish all of you guys luck in 2013. I hope that you guys accomplish all of your goals, and that's pretty much it. So make sure you go, guys go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to your boy Jarrell here, Jarrell Fitness. And like I said in the beginning, y'all already know, it's time to grow, bro. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.